Right. It's live on Facebook. <clears throat> this this one don't work. Try you too. You. Yeah, buddy, you got it. I'm on. I'm on a uh, meeting. Okay, gotta go. So where, mommy? All right. Looks like we're on. That got it, everybody. Coach Holmes, Coach McCarthy, y'all there? Yes, sir. All right, cool. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and jump right into it, guys. Um, sorry about that. We had some technical difficulties, you know, a little bit of you know, a little bit of technology. But uh, look, man, we're excited to get things started. Um, of course, we know Class B, Class C started already two weeks ago. Um, but we're excited. Uh, the rest of us, Class One A through Five A, gets to get things going starting tomorrow. So, like a kid on Christmas, right here myself. Um. Just fired up, man. I don't know about you guys, but uh, the unknown, I guess, is the thing. You know, that kind of keeps me up, keeps me keeps me going. Um, I do feel like we're prepared, but not knowing uh, who's going to show up and, and what teams are going to um, kind of be the teams to beat this year is kind of kind of fun, you know. So, without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump into it. Um, we are missing a couple of coaches. They may jump on a little bit later, but uh, we'll start with Coach Holmes, introduce him. The Grinds High School two-time defending 4A state champs. Man, we are blessed to have you, man. How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing I'm doing all right, man. I'm, you know, anytime you call, I'm, I'm always down to talk, you know, especially about this game and, uh, you know, just shine some light on our young ladies, not just in, you know, at LaGrange, but in Southwest Louisiana, you know, and holler at my boy. You know, Absolutely, I love what man. you do. Appreciate what hey, you do. Hey, and I'll be, uh, I'll be remiss to, to, to give you the platform to, what was the um Coach of the Year award you were nominated for? I forgot what it was. What was it? Man, I, I'm, all right, I'm not going to get the acronym right because it's like a bunch of letters, I don't know, in something. N-H-S-A-C-A, Girls Basketball. That's what it uh, from the email I received, it was from uh, the Coaches Association. Yeah, so, but I'm saying that was the acronym that, that it was. Yeah. So basically, it was, uh, you know, it was an award I received from, I guess, my peers. You know, I'm appreciative of it. You know, I, you know, I don't feel like, you know, you know, as a coach, winning ain't, you know, the prerequisite to be coach of the year, you know, you know, it's the byproduct of, you know, all the work we do, but that me winning shouldn't be, you know, the all, you know, the, the, you know, the reason why we win it, you know, as a lot of coaches doing a lot of great things. Um, I think I'm like one of six other coaches, you know, and just to be in that, you know, that elk that, you know, amongst great people, I, you know, I'm appreciative, you know, absolutely, man. It's well happy, deserved, man. Well deserved. And like Coach Holmes said, man, he'll be representing uh, the Southwest region as well as 4A. Um, so feel free, Coach, jump on anything that, that you feel you can add to any of the conversation. Um, feel oh, yeah. free to jump in there. Um, and, of course, in North Louisiana, we got Coach McConaughey. Super excited about uh, having her on here. Arguably, in my opinion, the hardest district in the entire state, District 1 5A. Uh, I mean, night in, night out, you got to bring your A game in some, you know, a lot of times. So, Really appreciate your time, Coach. Uh, you want to add anything else to that? Yeah, thank you for inviting me. I'm super excited. Uh, just honored to to do, be a part of this group that um, of coaches. And you are right. Uh, in one five A, we are definitely stacked to the top. And the best part about it is we actually go across the state to find competition just to prepare us for district not even for the playoffs yet like we are literally trying to find competition that's going to prepare us for every element and man there is some good basketball across the state of Louisiana I'm excited to see it I love it well guys we'll go ahead and jump into it man um again we'll hopefully coach Cooper um as well as 
Coach Clay can join us. Let me go ahead and make sure they're not trying to jump in. They may jump on a little bit later, but uh, we'll be looking down at the comments. If anybody wants to add anything, Coach Cooper was going to represent Central Louisiana. So if you guys have anything to say about Central Louisiana in the comments, we'll kind of talk about that. And then Coach Clay was going to be mostly uh, 5A, Baton Rouge, and Lafayette area. But uh, I'll get things started. Um, we're going to talk about top teams, top players to kind of keep an eye on from the New Orleans area. But with before we even get started, man, I really want to highlight all the girls. Um, like I said, that last week they reached their dreams, you know. So if I miss anybody, man, again, guys, let us know in the comments. Uh, but up first, we got Jaylee Womack, Poncha Tula, 2022 guard. She signed her um, letter of intent to Tulane. We also have Micah Trail from St. Louis Catholic. That's over in Lake Charles. She signed to ULM. Uh, Amani Rothschild, who is at Warren Easton, she signed to Louisiana Lafayette. Laja Washington, Madison Prep, again, defending state champion. She signed uh, at Southeastern. Lauren Quinn, who's at Hicks, again, defending state champion. She signed at Nichols. Uh, Zoe Manning, who's at Captain Shreve, also another defending state champion. She's at SMU. Uh, Riley Gray Stanford of North Louisiana from Benton. She signed with Southern Arkansas. Jada Clark, also from Ponsatula, signed with Spring Hill. And Jen Pierre from A Meet. I'm not sure. I think uh, if anybody in the comments can let us know, I'm not sure if she made her commitment in time to sign because there's only like a certain, I think it's a 72 hour window where you can sign. But she did uh, recently commit to Southeastern. So shout out to her. Um, she didn't sign this little past week. She will sign in April. But uh, again, guys, anybody, if we miss anybody, let us know in the comments. Um, click the like button. Click the share button. Help us continue to grow this platform. Let us know who's excited or who you're excited about. Um, New Orleans, you know, like a, a lot of us from around the area, you know, we're those that are from New Orleans know we got some good basketball. Some of the top teams I'll talk about course can't start that conversation without saying um of course can't start that conversation without saying john curtis you know john curtis six straight state championships is what they're they're going for so that's a team that you got to keep an eye on we know guards win games at the end of the day and they got a lot of them uh taryn cofield she's a 2024 she was the mvp of the state title uh last year arguably Number one player, uh, her and Jada Richard, one, one A, one B in the 24 class. Um, then they got Jordan, uh, Heaven, Heaven Jordan, 2024. She's also ranked in the top five. So that's two top guards in the 24 class. They're going to be good for a while, right? And then they got another kid, uh, Shy, that I really like a lot. She's a 2026. She's hands down top five, if not higher than that, in that 26 class. So she's somebody to keep an eye on. Um, moving down the list. Highlighting another team, Ponchatoula. Uh, Ponchatoula, they, they only lost one game last year, and that was to uh, Benton High School in the semifinals. So they went undefeated all the way through. Granted, they graduated uh, Graves, who's now at Auburn. So it's a big hole to fill. But uh, Jaylee Womack, like we spoke about her already, two-lane signee, number one, arguably top player in, in the class overall. Um They'll be led by her, but then they got a lot of pieces around her as well. We spoke about Jada Clark, who's their point guard. She signed with Spring Hill. She's very good. She kind of helps them go. She makes everybody around her better. Um, Libby Thompson, those that don't know, she transferred from Dillon Springs. She's now at Ponsatula. She's rocking and rolling. She can really shoot it. She had a good summer. Um, and then another kid I would probably keep an eye on is uh, Taylor Jackson, uh, six foot forward. Long, lanky. They got a lot of pieces all together between the guard play and the forwards. Um, they'll be a team to watch in 5A. Uh, moving down again, Edna Carr. Coach kind of asked about them a little bit. They are in 4A. Coach Holmes is also in 4A. So that's definitely somebody <laughs> that you got to keep an eye on. Um, the Barber kid's back. She's a 2022. She was out last year with the injury. She looks good in uh, Jamboree. I mean, I'm sure she was a little rusty or whatnot, but um, – she looks good. Kind of way to get those nerves out the way. Uh, they've got a great combination of older kids, some vets, um, to create a lot of turnovers, get get a lot of steals. But then they also have the young girls. Uh, two girls I want to highlight: Tori Walker and Jordan Rogers. Uh, two of the young ones coming in, so they're going to have a nice blend, you know, between those older kids and the younger kids. 
Um, and then I'll go ahead and talk about a meet. I didn't know if uh, Dale was going to talk about them or not, but since he's not on, I'll talk about them. a meet probably hands down the favorite to win 2A. Uh, again, led by Jim Pierre, Southeastern signee. Uh, she's a 2022, but we all know, like I said, I'll say it again, guards win games. They got Haley Brumfield. Uh, she's a 2024, had a great summer. Mir Miracle, uh, she was uh, MVP of the game that they played. So any three of those can step up at any time. They're all going to make each other better. Um, like I said, if you're going to win two-way this year, you're going to have to go through eight meters at some point. So it's going to be their year. Um, two more teams I want to highlight. Uh, Warren Easton, which is another 4A team, uh, one of the top teams in our area, but also one of the top teams in 4A. Uh, got a new coach. You know, Coach Mims switched over to the – boy side which is great for him but uh he did not leave the cover bare to say the least for his long time assistant coach katie so she's gonna hit the ground running rocking and rolling uh she's got monty rothschild we already talked about her louisiana lafayette signee uh they've got bella gonzalez she's a 22 uh she moved in she'll play college basketball somewhere can really shoot it and then a, another guard again guards win games cameron washington 2023 she's one of the top guards in the 23 class and then somebody probably keep an eye out on 5A's North Shore. Uh, again, they're not exactly in the New Orleans area, but I uh, want to talk about them. They've got two, two guards that are really good in the 22 class uh, with Silvis and Tilson. We already kind of know about them. Both those kids are ranked on our rankings in the top 17, top 15. And uh, they got a new kid, young kid coming in with uh, Sherry Spencer, 2025. She's a guard, got a rank number seven right now in the class. She's going to be a difference maker. It may take her a little bit of time to catch up to that 5A speed, but definitely to keep an eye on. Um, I think that's about it. What I got, guys, I'll go ahead and run through the um, the games. that. Uh, so we'll talk about teams, players, and then some games. What I did was I just marked some of the games, big-time games for tomorrow. Uh, Edna Carr plays at Ponsatula, 530. That's going to be a big-time game. Again, one of the top 5A, one of the top 4A teams. Uh, another game I want to highlight, John Curtis plays at Bonneville, uh, 530. What's cool about that one is Coach uh, Tamika Johnson, she played at Bonneville, so she'll have her jersey retired. They're going to hang that in the rafters. It's got to be pretty cool. Um, West Jeff plays at Ben Franklin, two teams, playoff teams. Those two teams will be looking to make deeper runs in the playoffs this year. Um, not exactly in our area, but HL Bourgeois plays at Ellender. That's got to be really cool for those girls to uh, come out and open up against each other, given what they went through with the hurricane, not even back in their, their own school, you know, um, going with the platoon system and all that. That's got to be cool to see, see them two play. And then uh, us, of course, Ursuline Academy, we start off with the uh, Phoenix High School at 530. But uh, that's about all I got, man, from our area. If anyone wants to add to that, again, feel free to jump in the comments section. Um, but uh, Coach Holmes, man, I'll go ahead and throw it to you uh, over at the Southwest region. Um, uh, the teams in our area, uh, I'll start with uh, with us. We uh, return to starters. We're relatively younger. This, you know, we graduated 13 seniors in the last two years. Uh, we just hoping to play um, better ball by we by the time we get to district. You know, we take our little bumps and grind. Our schedule pretty tough. We got a, a tough matchup coming Tuesday. We play one of the top teams in the, not only our area but in 3A Jennings. I want to say there was a top five seed last year, um, and they return. Um, I want to say everybody. They got a nice big and nice guard out there. I'm not as good as with the names as you. So no, that's I don't all. Right. Be able to, you know, spit the names. I just know, you know, the players they can go. Um, hey, but I don't mean to cut you off. Talk about your jamboree, man. I mean, just from looking on my end point, my my standpoint, it looked like you guys had a great turnout. Um, that was really oh, good for the Southwest region. Man, it's man, it, it's a great little event. We start games at nine o'clock, and the last game was played at like seven thirty. Um, I want to say it was eleven games, and uh, of those eleven, I want to say eight of them were girl games. Uh, you had uh, St. Louis play in it. You had um, Barb, Sulphur, Sam Houston, um, Washington Marion, uh, Overland, um, Crowley came, and Welsh. Hey, you got to stop. 
sorry, kids right in front of me playing with their toys. Um, a lot of times, you know, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good event, man. Uh, good excuse to have a hospitality room. You know, that's you know that's what tournaments really for, not for the games, for the hospitality room. But now, nah, man, um, I was able to see a lot of good basketball. Um, the area is uh, you know, our area is pretty rich. I know we know more for our softball, but um, man, they got a, a lot of decent teams in our area. We was able to see a couple of matchups. Um, St. Louis is strong again. Stop. St. Louis is strong again. They return. I don't think they had any seniors last year. Yeah, on this um, every time I see Paris, I swear, she looked more and more like a college guard. She's like grew a couple of inches. And you already knew what it was with Micah, who uh, congratulations to her, signed with uh, ULM um, with this last signing period um, to go play ball. They're nice. I mean, but those are the main pieces, but Coach Johnson got them coached up, real athletic around them. You know, they get in your face, they pressure you, um, like to push tempo. I, you know, I, you know, I don't see why they won't make their what third or fourth trip, straight trip too. You know, I guess Ursuline only team in their way. You know, uh, oh, I don't know that. Don't put that target on our back. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you say you're the only one in their way. Um, Barb got a new coach. Uh, Good friend of mine. I think he's going to get them real coached up. They're real young. Uh, they he got them playing really hard, real long, real athletic team. Um, 5A is just so tough, man. But I feel like, you know, um, he had the kid move back from Houston, you know, who's this place from, I guess, the storm last year, the manly kid. Yep. So, man, um, once she get, you know, her feet wet with the girls that he has over there, uh, the you know, like, Guard, he got a guard named Maya. She's real, play with real fire and emotion. They got a, a wing, uh, Ariel. Um, I think that's her name. Terrible with names, but um, they're really athletic. And I've been knowing Coach uh, Trey for a while. I know he's gonna have him coached up. So it's good to see that you know, um, Barb is on the up and up. Sam Houston's another team. Uh, I want to say they're really young. I've seen them play. Um, Five, again, 5A five is going to be tough, man. I, you know, I was happy when I looked at the numbers and I was able to stay where I was at. I didn't want to go down to 3A and I didn't want to go up to 5A. I just want to sit where I'm at. Let me stay in my little pool. You know, even though I'm not a top five team, according to LGR and other people. No, but that hey, wasn't hey, hey, man, I just, hey, I just hey, hit the retweet hey. button, man. I think hey, that man, might be why Dale didn't jump on, man. It's his birthday and all, but that might be why he didn't jump on. <laughs> oh, that's his AAU squad, huh? <laughs> nah, man, I'm just going to bring it up every time I see him. But nah, uh, nah, I ain't tripping. Um, hey, but nah, uh, man, uh, the interject, man, somebody talked about um, in the comments that Washington Marion and Fairview play. Uh, Washington Marion, I think it's a, a team that's going to be kind of on the rise, kind of in y'all's area, keep an eye man, on. Man, I, I think that should be a good this, game. I'll tell you this, uh, Washington Marion head coach, uh, Coach Sade Henry, was my assistant coach the last two years. She's been in high school two years. She won two championships. I mean, hey, it's the right hire. You know what I'm saying? Uh, young coach, her dad, it's funny because her dad helped me get my start in coaching. And like, you know, so I know it's in a it's in a blood, man. Like her brother played college ball, real knowledgeable coach. Uh, she's going to have him coached up. Uh, I like what I've seen um, when they play, man, just watching – a little, a little bit I've seen of them. Uh, they're real athletic, and, you know, she got them going in the right direction. You know, uh, I told her, you know, take it easy on me when we get to district. <laughs> but, uh, nah, man, she uh, you know, she works hard. You know, me and I chop it up daily about basketball. I think uh, she has a guard uh, named Fantasy who's, uh, you know, she's pretty good, man, long, rangy kid, handle the ball, can shoot the ball. She got a freshman. Who got really good size? Who she has? Uh, who starts for her? She's about five seven five eight. Her name is uh, oh man, I'm terrible with names. I'm gonna find out her name and I'm gonna post it. <laughs> I, I can't remember her name offhand. I'm sorry. She gonna kill me because she always talks to me when she see me. Real good kid to watch out for. And I want to say she doesn't have really any seniors either. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, that game with her and Fairview should be pretty good. I seen a little bit of Fairview this um. I see a little bit of Fairview. This, um, I'm sorry, my phone died. Let me go find me a charger. 
seen a little bit of Fairview this summer, and you know, Kyle over there is a great coach. He don't uh, he don't really rebuild; they just reload over there. I feel like every year he has another daughter who just goes out there and plays really hard because you know he has like every, every year he has a daughter, two stars on the team. For sure. But uh, they you know teams like that is where I want to get with my program, you know, where it's it's not you know, you know. It's just every year you are, you know, in contention just because of not just the style, but the way you have your program built. Um, probably one of the best coach, coaches in the, um, the state, you know. I want to say close to a 1,000 wins or something like that, or 11 state championships, something like that. Yeah. Like, did you imagine? Could, I'm I going can't. to charge I really can Man, I'm telling you right now, if I had 11 state championships, you would have to pay me for my appearances. <laughs> I'm going to let you know. You know what I'm saying? 11, you have to pay me. But, nah, man, uh, I'm excited to see Coach Henry and them and, and you know, and hear about how that game goes. You know, I know she's excited for the matchup. She's not going to duck any competition. You know, that's not how she built. But, um, yeah, it's man, always, I was able to you – know, I mean, that's offer out here, too. To, Soffer um, got a young team, but they don't, they don't look too bad either. To jump in, man, like, I, you know, we're, we're playing Phoenix our first game tomorrow. You know, it's kind of difficult to play these B and C schools because they've already played a couple games, you know. So, Fairview, I think uh, I think they've already played, like, four games already. So, it's going to be interesting. It's always interesting when they reschedule one of those games as your first game um, where you've got the jitters out. You've got multiple practices to make adjustments, multiple games to make adjustments. So, it's always cool to kind of see those B and C schools compete, especially early. Yeah, and they're, they're a little ahead of everybody else just because they've been practicing longer. Yeah, I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's fair. You know, I had to, you know, I got to sit there and wait on volleyball. You know, I'm happy that my volleyball team made the playoffs that they think. I always root. I'm not going to lie. I always root for the other sports because I feel like that makes you, you know, I, I I want my kids to play all the sports, you know, keeps them out of trouble one and, you know, just get involved. It's about the school. It's not always about just the girls' basketball programs. But with all that being said, I also don't think it's fair, you know, they get a little head start, oh, you know, you on everybody, you know, but <laughs> hey, you know, it doesn't really matter. These kids, the kids at Fairview have been running the same thing since they was in kindergarten. Yeah, so, right. I mean, <laughs> speaking you know, of, a, head start, a big head start. Speaking of Fairview, uh, someone in the comments mentioned Riley Cloud. Uh, she's one of their guards. She signed a softball scholarship with uh, Arkansas. So shout out to her for sure. And um, someone did clarify that with Jim Pierre committing, the window is open through November 17th. So she'll mm -hmm. probably end up signing that if she hasn't already. Um, but we'll come back to you, Coach Holmes, um, with any uh, top games you guys got, other top games or top tournaments you got coming up. Um, so we'll jump to North Louisiana. Again, guys, if you guys got anything you can add um, with Coach uh, Cooper, She'll be hopefully joining us a little bit later from Central Louisiana. If you got anything you want to add, or from the Baton Rouge Lafayette area, I saw a couple of people posted some games. For example, the uh, South Side versus Walker. What what uh, day is that? What time is that? Let us know. Um, but we're gonna jump to North Louisiana, Coach McConathy. Again, like I said, the toughest district in the entire state. So you know, she's always seeing a lot of the top teams, a lot of the top players. Uh, they had that cool old. Parish Jamboree where the whole parish came out. So I'm sure you got to see a lot of the uh, top teams with that as well. Coach McConaughey, floor is yours. Hey, y'all. So, yeah, it was really cool yesterday. Uh, I was like sitting in the gym and I'm like, oh, look, this is everybody uh, in my district minus a, just a couple. And you, you literally sit around looking and you're like, oh, I play everybody in this Jamboree. Um, I play Bozier tomorrow, and so I had to stay and watch them play. And you know, we got Plain Dealing. Um, they're a smaller school, but they're in our. They're, we actually have them in my tournament this year. But everybody else in our parish is actually in our district, so it definitely made for a fun jamboree yesterday. Benton and Parkway ended the night, oh, wow. um, and of course, that is one of my top teams in North Louisiana, without a doubt. You know, Parkway, Michaela Williams, she just. Man, she is just a special individual. She's a great kid, too. You know, so when you have that all-around player like that, it's fun to watch. But, you know, she's got a good um, 
I, I, I just call her her left hand man. That's Chloe Larry. She uh, actually had her first offer just recently. She's just one of those smooth players that you're like, man, everybody needs a little Chloe Larry on your team. I, I really like her style. You know, um, I got my good, my good um, two girls back to back. They're best friends, Kayla Hampton and Corey Rice. They're in the LGR top top twenty, and they are fun. Uh, they're a fun pair. They're best friends, but they are unsigned seniors, and I'm excited to see how they turn out this year. But, you know, like you said, our district is just tough, but it is not the only schools in North Louisiana that need a little bit of attention. Um, you know, we have Rustin. I actually, I actually play Rustin on Thursday, and that's that's my best friend. And she's got Jalea McWayne and Emerald Parker. And I'm excited to see how Thursday, how my girls come out to the trees, as I call them. Yeah, for sure. Rustin, <laughs> the, Rustin those girls trees, between man. between the fastest guards and the tallest two kids is like I know, a great man. combination. I mean, I know. They're, gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna win. They're gonna win <laughs> games in the 30s. It's gonna be crazy. Like, like yeah, their thing yeah, versus Carl was at the Hall of yeah. Fame. Pelican State was yeah. nuts. It was, yeah. it was a good game you know, though. We um we also have Huntington, you know that Taylor kid. She's fun to watch, but they they just got a good little scrappy group. Uh, nobody ever wants to play Huntington up here, you know. They just they always they always bring it, and they have no fear. Uh, Southwood, they're in our district. You never know with Southwood. They've got the the athleticism, the length, um, just the demeanor. Uh, I'll, we always we always literally flip a coin of who who's going to win between Southwood and Airline. It's always a good scrappy game, but. Um, this summer, we had a fun game against West Monroe, and their group, man, they when they get it all together, they're going to be hard to beat, especially in that that district, you know, with Rustin and Washtenaw Parish. You know, Washtenaw Parish has Faith Lee, and I think she's unsigned still, and she she's a she's a go getter too. Um, Washtenaw Christian, I think at your event, she beat Zachary. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know, Stan does a good job with those girls. Um, one fun game, though, last, uh, that happened last week, I scrimmaged Ravel, and they came to us, and, man, it was 68 to 71 at the end of the scrimmage. Wow. And um, Ravel was shooting it from the volleyball line and making it. I mean, just – I was like, good gosh. But um, that uh, – Rayville is 2A, right? Rayville is 2A, yeah. yeah that's going to be um, some tough games, too, in, in the playoffs uh, when it comes to the – so and let me tell you, just a different style of basketball is crazy. It is, and I played two A at South Boulevard. And let me tell you, one gym you don't ever want to go in, and that's Ravel. You do yeah. not want to go into Ravel's gym. That is a hostile environment. It's kind of like a meet, you know, a meet. They got a great core. I played them at your event, and their fans made it feel like it was just a home ball game. And yeah, so they definitely travel well. They they do. They travel well, and that's that's what it's all about. It is when your fans are just so so in it. But you know, going back to South Louisiana, uh coach Holmes, have you seen Hathaway play? Uh I know they're small school, but man, they've been putting up some numbers lately. I know that they've had a couple more games already, but Hathaway uh, um in Oak Hill, hey, they mentioned Oak coach Hill. Coach does a man, coach does a great job with them. I played them a couple of times. I get played them. Sorry, played them a couple of times this uh, summer, man. And again, that's again them schools like like uh, like Hathaway. They got a style in play where you know it's every year they're in competition. It doesn't matter. You know they don't really rebuild, they reload. I want to say she returned almost everybody this year, man. I uh, I don't see why not. Why it won't be you know in the top twenty eight or uh, even better, you know, win it. I mean, she does a great job. They play hard. They play fast. Man, it's track me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, lock you up defensively. Scrappy. Not scared of whoever. Not scared of anybody. They'll play the five A's or the four A's. It doesn't matter. You know, they just go out there and compete. And that's, you know, just reflection of, you know, the system. And not just the system, but the, the program she has built over there. You know? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, but that's it for as far as the teams and stuff. But um, yeah, we, we've, we've got a lot of good teams in our area. It's really fun basketball on any given night. Um, and the one thing about us coaches up here is we're all trying to play each other. Um, but like I said, we also, we're all going down South to try to play some different faces and everything uh, during the, during the weekend. So we've got some really good games coming up. I'm pretty excited. Uh, Coach, are y'all in, um, in common 
commented the uh, Harwood Classic, which used to be at uh, Bozier and it's been switched over to Parkway High School. Are y'all in that? We are. So Coach Sims, uh, she was at Bozier. Uh, she actually moved to Houston, but that is her baby. And she has done a very good job with just bringing in some of the like talent of the state. And actually, we play Warren Easton on Saturday at nine o'clock in the morning. Parkway plays Warren Easton, I think the night before or maybe Thursday night. I'll have to post that schedule and send it to you. But we've got some really good games. Um, we've got teams like Benton, uh, Parkway, Haynesville, Marshalls coming from out of state. We've got some, uh, some Arkansas teams coming, um, Dale Haas coming. Um, I'm just trying to think off of the whim, you know, Bozier, of course. Um, but we've – We've got a couple of down south teams. Um, we'll be out there. Yeah. Are y'all coming? Yes, we coming. I mean, so I talked nice. to Coach. Uh -oh. Coach. Coach before the schedule. The two-time like, for a defending state champ. What you got to say? Hey, man, I talked to Coach, and I said, like, look, man, I don't mind. You know, I don't ever, you know, I don't care who we play. I said, man, I don't, you know, every year I go up north for a tournament, and we, it doesn't matter what team I've had, we lose up there. I've been to the Nagas Central Tournament up there. I've been to West Pro Tournament up there. I said, man, give me like, I was like, all right, give me a, a decent match competition game and give me maybe, give me a little less a game. I got little young kids. <laughs> There's no, I was like, man, give me a cupcake. Then she gets, she gives me a Southwood and a Southwood and a Benton. I said, where? I said, I said a cupcake. Give me something easy. Don't give me no hard teams like that. Now we go out there, we play Southwood eight o'clock on a Friday. Then we back door and play Bitten Saturday morning. So I'm like, man, it's, it's it gets it, it's different up there. We went up there this summer and played um and I wanna say it was uh Southwood's team. Yeah, Southwood camp. had to do. Yeah. I, you know, I always kid around with Coach Green about how every team up north has at least two or three six footers. They just give it to y'all like candy. Every team out there has a six footer. You know, we went out there and played Parkway and it's West Monroe. And I'm like, man, it, the kids out there, they eat different. I don't know what it is. They are humongous. But like, I'm trying, they're, you know, skilled, athletic. It's just a different game out there. You know, I don't envy you out there. I'm just being honest. I, I'll stay where I'm at. You know, but now nah, we're going to go out there and get a, you know, we love to go up north, get some competition, you know, see other places in the state. Cause it's like, it's a lot of different styles of basketball. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like up north it's it's aggressive, it's strong. Like I said, the size up there is different. Down, you know, where we at, we play a little faster. You know, we play quick. You got the Fairviews, you got the South Bowls, you got the Hathaways, you know, you got St. Louis is, you know, it's a it's a they 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 run and gun, you know, it's it's a track meet. Then you go down east and it's shooters galore. I don't know. You know how it is in New Orleans. Warren Easton, you know, they, they, they get them up. You know, they get them up. You know, I want to say we played them in the semis. The first four shots they hit were threes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, I guess they got a lot of shooting machines. All the money out there down east. Everybody got a shooting machine. That's right, man. But we, nah, we, we, got, we got the shooting machine for sure. <laughs> I'm just amazed by the style of basketball in all the areas, you know. And, you know, man. It's a lot of competition around the state. Yeah, I, I agree. Like with the, the matchup, the matchups are like different in the areas. The matchups are different in each classification as well. Like I've always said, two A is a lot like B and C, but it's a little bit like just bigger students, bigger athletes at the end of the day because it's bigger schools. Um, but anything from two A down is just so fast, full court man to man running. Man, you no, know, um, shoot it. Like uh, they can, they can all really kind of shoot it, but it's, it's that small town basketball. It's got got a good little feel to it. Man, I kid around about having to share kids, you know, with volleyball and stuff. But the the, the schools in two way that's that's cross country teams, yeah. man. Because like they don't get gas, like, and it is, and they don't give up. You know, a ten point lead playing them teams is is like a lay. It's, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? They they erase those so quickly, and they. They don't, they don't give up. They play from, from the first to the fourth, you know, through. But, man, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an experience playing them teams, man. I tell them all the time, you know, 
when we play like the Fairviews, don't get caught up trying to play their pace because you're not going to play their pace better than them. Yeah, no you doubt. Know? Man, y'all, y'all got me excited about the uh, the event at, at Parkway. I'm off on Friday. We might have to, I might have to drive up there and catch some games on Friday and Saturday. I'm going to have to get with Coach Williams and, and, and see the schedule and all that. Um, man, they got some nice matchups, man. Yeah, yeah that's actually, the most comments, Parkway versus Warren East at 8 o'clock Friday. That should yeah. be a good one. It starts – everything starts on Wednesday, uh, but there's ball games for the next four days. I mean, it's going to be some good basketball. That uh, work, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Uh, shoot me that schedule, and I'll, I'll go ahead and post it. I will. Um, I'll I'll talk um about the Lafayette area. You know, of course, you got Madison Prep, uh, the Finnegan State champs in three A. They're probably arguably top five, if not the best team in the state. Regardless, super senior heavy. Um, kind of coach always kind of get, gets those group of kids that every, you know, three or four years and they're just rolled over, rolled over, rolled over. And uh, they got a good chance. And they grown back. Was that man? We played them this summer. They grown. Like yeah, what I mean, not, not, they like, they are, they, they pushed us around. I was just saying they're that they're a real physical group led by the guard who just signed. What's her name again? Blazer. Um, man, she plays with such a toughness with her. I remember yeah. one time on Twitter, I posted one of my kids squatting. She commented on the thing, said, well, I squat 225. I was like, my bad. I didn't know you was in this one. I mean, but, man, she played. She played rec like She played hard, man. Yeah. I got much me. respect for Coach in this squad. They, they definitely somebody to keep an eye on, no matter what classification you're in. Um, Lafayette's another team. Uh, Lafayette High, probably arguably top five in the um, 5A, if not – Across all classifications, they're loaded. Oh, yeah. Got got so much talent. I, I don't even want to mention anybody because I'll, I'll probably leave somebody out because they're so deep. I mean, they got so many kids that had the ability to play at the next level, whether it's basketball, track, volleyball. Like a lot of kids that are gonna are gonna play at the next level, doing something for sure. Um, Lafayette actually plays LCA, so LCA Lafayette Christian Academy. Uh, Coach Rogers has called me. He said they play them, I think, on Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe Thursday, something something this week. They play in the Karen Crow High School uh, tournament. So that would be a really good game, kind of keep an eye on that score. Um, Karen Crow, another team. Um, going to be rocking and rolling. Karen Crow, another team to look out for and for it, man. Um, yeah, for sure. It was a young team last year. They got really good guard. Um, uh, she's real nice. Again, I don't know names, but she's real nice. Uh, they play hard. You know, we go out there and play them in December. And then uh, now, uh, Coach Clay with, with Walker High School, man, they're going to be rocking and rolling. Um, Walker looks so good at, at our event, one of the best teams. I mean, they're just so far ahead of everybody. Again, they're super deep. Not very senior heavy. You know, got a couple upperclassmen, but uh, they got they got a squad. They're going to be good for, for years, you know, so – um, I think they play Southside. Southside's a good team out of Lafayette coming up. Got two guards. Be be good to kind of see them, how they compete against that 2 2 1, that diamond press that Walker runs. That, like you talk about Manly, man. Manly had everything she could handle in that one. Uh, I think that was an eye opener for Barb to kind of see, like, look, this is where the bar is at for 5A. We really want to get there. We really want to compete. I think they're going to get back to the grind. Um, so I was kind of good to see that matchup. Um, in the area, just talking, thinking off the top of the head, um, Baton Rouge, McKinley is going to be a good team, young team. They'll be Division One, so it's a little bit different. Um, it's great to see uh, those those two coaches back at McKinley. Um, they were kind of the ones that built it whenever it was going, took a little break. Now they're back. So those two guys, I mean, they, they get their kids to play so hard. It's, it's, it's just a skill that they have. Like, they coach their kids so hard. They freaking play so hard. Um, McKinley's going to be a team to watch out, out for. Liberty's always good. They'll be in the Final Four, fighting in the in the playoffs. Um, just another day, another dollar for them. Uh, Whitney Hart, she's rocking and rolling, man. One of the top 24s in the state. She's a big, unbelievable potential. Um, that's just kind of off the top. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump into Coach Cooper, man. Coach Cooper, I really appreciate you joining us. Um, Central Louisiana. It's always good to get somebody on from Central Louisiana. I really feel like you know, girls' basketball in general is uh, kind of overshadowed, man, but Central Louisiana is definitely overshadowed. Just 
with everybody tries to do the best they can, man. But at the end of the day, it's just not as much media, not as much papers and all that stuff. You know, coach, I mean, Lamar does a great job over there, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's just not enough. They don't get enough enough love for uh, the basketball that they're playing out there. So I really appreciate you joining us, man. Is there any uh, – you want to talk about some of the top teams in your area, uh, top players on those teams, any top games you got coming up? Um, and we'll go from there. Oh, you muted, Coach. Can you hear me now? You're good. All right. Yeah, I said I'm really glad to um, have the opportunity to, to you know, be on and, and be able to uh, represent Central Louisiana because a, a lot of times, um, you know, we, we do have athletes that come through and, um, you know, just Central Louisiana girls basketball, like you said, Lamar, you know, tries to stay on top of it. But, you know, we, we kind of get um, um, overshadowed sometimes. So um, just just to talk about a few teams in the area, um, I start off uh, first with with us, of course. You know, um, I have um, junior forward Nakaya Allen. Um, Desire Johnson, Rihanna Battles, Elandra Williams. We're really, you know, looking for them to uh, step up big time this year. Um, we have two seniors, so you know everybody else will be uh, returning again, with the exception of those two. Um, you know, the the main thing with us is you know just mainly staying injury free and 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 make sure our, you know we're getting our bench um, players ready and. Uh, you know, being able to get out there and give us some some valuable uh, minutes and, and things like that. And um, as far as uh, other teams, I got Lakeview. Um, we're really looking for Lakeview to to make a huge run this year. Um, yeah, if, if you ain't seen Lakeview, you got you got to check those two guards out, man. They 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 are fun yeah. to watch, man. They're really <laughs> fun to watch. Yeah, Janiah Fisher and uh, Timberland Washington. Um, they're both uh, freshmen and, and, you know, they, they put on a really good show. You got Janiah Fisher, who's basically a, a, a walking bucket. <laughs> so she's, you know, going to give you that bucket when you need it. You got Timberland that's going to just bring that, that aggressiveness and that, um, that energy and that speed defensively. Um, you know, that's what gives them that extra fuel when she gets to going. You know, it's, it's like, you know, the rest of them get all pumped up. But um, he really has a, a good solid five there so um actually six so um you know their 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 future looks pretty promising um let's see we got Nacogdoches Central um Nacogdoches Central has uh guard Tyronesha I hope I'm pronouncing her name right uh Tyronesha Bowers and uh, um fresh she a freshman I think she's a freshman Akila Wade She's yeah, I think she's a freshman. I think yeah, freshman. freshman guard Akila Wade. Um, so we got an opportunity to play against them um, this summer. So um, you know, when they were out there, they 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 really stepped up and and did some good things. Tyronesha can you know create for the team. Uh, she's a playmaker and 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 she can score the ball. Akila is good defender and she can score the ball as well. And and like I say, you know, I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, see seeing how the season plays out for them. Um, got a voice public charter, Miss Peyton Hines over there, who's gonna always bring her a game, no matter you know what situation she's in. Um, you know she's a very smart player. Um, she's gonna you know try her best to make the best decision, and and she's gonna make those around her you know uh, much better, and and you know gives them that extra confidence. And she's vocal on the floor, so uh, we're really looking forward to a voice public charter. Um, you know having a a, a good season too. Yeah. Good. And not to cut you off, but Coach Greenhouse uh, commented earlier, they play um, – Voyles Charter plays Hicks at Rose Pine on Tuesday. That's going to be a good game. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, then my next one was Hicks, actually. Um, so, of course, uh, Hicks would be – you know, of course, we're looking for them to be state contenders again. Um, this would be their, what, fourth one, if, if they can pull it through. Yep. Um, they have uh, – Oh, uh, was she? Senior, senior, senior standout, Lauren Quinn. Quinn. Yeah. Um, she's a smart player. She's going to dominate the board. She's going to take those charges. She's going to find a way to, to try to outsmart you. So um, I, I really like uh, Lauren um, Quinn. She's, she's a good player. Like y'all said earlier, you know, she signed with, 
with Nickel State. So um, I think she's going to bring, um, you know, some good things over um, this year. So um, let's see what else. And I was going back looking at – he posted uh, the schedule. Avoros Charter plays Hicks, and then they turn around and play Lake Arthur. So they're going to get tested early. That's, oh, that's yeah. Two really good games. <laughs> yep. A lot, yeah. a lot of trophies in those two games. Most definitely. Um, the next few ones I got, let's see, uh, Fairview. Um, of course, they're always, you know, going to be in the mix somewhere. Anytime you're talking about top teams, um, he's doing a really, really good job down there with his group. I don't really know them um, personally to, to, you know, give names or anything, but I do know that, you know, he, he definitely has a powerhouse down there. Um, Anna Coco, um, I see that they're getting off to a, a good start this season. I think they've only lost uh, one game. I think they're four and one. So um, we're really looking forward to them doing some good things too. And um, I've been seeing a lot about Oak Hill um, lately. So um, Oak Hill also has been in the mix and, and playing some good good teams and some good games. They lost to um, Fairview, I want to say, by six. And uh, lost to Hicks, I want to say by three. I think it was 46 49. So just them being able, you know what I'm saying, to hang in there with those two top teams, you know, that's a major plus. For sure. So, um, and I, I want to give a, a big shout out to the girls over at Hicks, man. The people that don't know, they lost their gym uh, during the last set of hurricanes that hit that area, man. And they still don't have their gym. Coach, Coach Mike's over there, he's, he's built an outdoor court where they have, I believe it's four goals, and they are yep. out there just flat out hooping. <laughs> hooping. Like, that is so cool to see. It's also cool to see the community, what they did. You know, they had a group of community members go and, and install lights. Yeah, for their right, lights. They got lights and, I mean, like, I mean, it's every it's every small town kid's dream. I mean, my dream, too. You know what I mean? Just like, let's go. Let's go play some yeah. basketball in the dark. Let's go. That's cool. Yeah. Yep, Coach, and cool. then only, the only other thing I got, I just was going to name just a few local aspects, um, not aspects, prospects, um, you know, whose team um, weren't mentioned. Uh, they got, we got Red River, uh, Red River's Jaden French, um, little guard out there. She does a lot of good things and some impressive things. Yeah, she, um, she was really good at Fat Fit, really good. We got Bolton's junior forward, Sky Montgomery. Yep, Bolton. Oh, Bolton we'll people think up. Bolton's gonna fall off. I don't. I don't. I don't see it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, I. I don't see. It. I. I don't see it either. Look, they. They gonna find a way. You know what yep. I'm saying? I, I. I truly believe they gonna find a way. Um, I know they've been working hard over there. Um, I what what um I I'm trying to think of her name um Hicks little point guard. Um, I can see her face. God, yes, <laughs> I can see her face. I can't, Ter I can't Terrence in here, Terrence. What, what's, her, what's her name? Reese. Uh, starts with an S. Reese, something. I can't remember. Terrence, but but anyway. In there. Yeah, yeah, but Terrence, you know, I, I definitely name? wanted to. I definitely wanted to put her in the mix of things. Um, yeah, she had a great also, song. She had a great song. Yeah. I um I saw uh Bunky. I don't really know much about Bunky's team, but I do know that um you know there has been a lot of talk about them. You know, on the come up this year. So um, I did hear that they have a sophomore guard over there, Carlicia Fields. And um, they said that she's already almost hitting her thousand points. And, you know, just with her being a sophomore. So that was pretty impressive um, to me. So um, like I said, in just our area, you know, we have um, McNeil over at uh, Peabody. Uh, we have, um, what is that, Alexandria Senior High Guards, uh, last name, uh, Balthazar and uh, Laney. Um, so, like I say, you know, we, we have a lot of potential down in the area. Um, we have a lot of teams um, that's pretty much in the rebuilding mode here. But, you know, everybody's working and, you know what I'm saying, everybody's out, you know, trying to better their team, trying to, you know, schedule good competition and, and, and put the kids, um, you know, on, on the map as, as far as just, you know, just just trying to just, just push them, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like I said, the easy thing about it, you know, we can easily, oh, yeah, I'm just rebuilding. But they're still out. You know, those rebuilding teams, they're still out playing. You know, they're normal teams. They're, you know, normal uh, competition. Or not normal, but they're um, playing more competitive teams in order to make them better. 
So, for sure. you know, like I said, you know, we just, we just got to keep working. For sure. Uh, somebody comment, uh, Coach Temple comment about Kinder having a one-two punch. I, I just asked him, I think the Joseph girl, the girl that was at Vent, I think she transferred over there. I don't, I don't know if they can confirm that or not. But uh, that's probably somebody to keep an eye out on for sure. Um, man, well, I, I really appreciate everyone's time. Um, again, somebody just posted uh, or sent me the schedule for the um, event at, at Parkway, the Hardwood Classic. So I'll post that. Anybody listening, man, feel free to send us any games, big games you got coming up, any tournament schedules you guys got coming up. Um, Thanksgiving is right around the corner, right? So I wanted to kind of give everybody the floor with that too. Just even where you're traveling, uh, I'm traveling to Doyle. Uh, Doyle runs a great event. Coach Holmes, great hospitality room, all that fun stuff. But uh, Monday and Tuesday, we'll be at Doyle. And then um, Edna Carr has a big tournament. They took over the St. Mary's tournament. So that's during Thanksgiving time around our area. Um, he's kind of getting that thing rolling next year. It's going to be something to really keep an eye out on. Uh, and then as far as LGR, we're, we're doing our road to state. So we'll have uh, Co Coach Cooper and uh, Northwood Lena as well as my squad will be down there. That's November 27th. That's going to be at Nichols. Um, State University on the main court. So we're really excited about that. But uh, you guys got any tournaments that you guys want to mention either now or during the Thanksgiving break? Anybody in the comments too? Um, on November the 22nd through the 24th, um, we'll have our Paris tournament. And that tournament will consist of Plainview, Bolton, Peabody, Glenmore, Oak Hill, Ash, Pineville, Tioga, and um, Country Day University Academy. So um, we'll have that tournament during that time. And then also Lakeview will have theirs during those same dates. Anacoco, Natchitoches Central, um, and Marksville uh, will have a pretty big one. And you mentioned the Avoids Public Charter um, and Hicks game. That's going to be a big one on November the 16th. So. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Coach yeah. Holmes, what about you guys? Where y'all going for Thanksgiving? You got any big tournaments around y'all's area in the Southwest region? Man, honestly, uh, we're not doing nothing for Thanksgiving this year, which is a first. Uh, um, we're going to go to the tournament on Bolsia. We're going to get some practice in. A lot of young kids, man, I felt like it was a good opportunity. Again, got our volleyball girls back and stuff like that to get, you know, get back in the swing of things. Then around December, we're going to, you know, we loaded up in December. In January, we got so many dang on Saturday matchups. We're taking this opportunity really just to get some practice on, man. Um, we were going to be in West Lakes tournament. They usually host like a holiday tournament, but uh, they're not doing it this year. Um, years past, we played in a, a STM's tournament, which is a pretty good tournament uh, for our area too. Um, yeah, one of, a lot of the uh, top Southwest uh, Louisiana and you know that Lafayette area teams gonna go in that one. That's um, yeah, gonna be definitely one to look out for. Gonna be, that's gonna I, I be some good matchups from, uh, from him. I might, I might have to get him on next job. week to talk about that one. Oh yeah, he does a good job with his tournament. Um, we have a lot of great teams uh, in that. Um, but now we're taking this opportunity, man. Uh, this early year, get some get some practices in, uh, and get you know, get ready to get for the start of the year. Heard that. We we'll get my weapons out there up north first. Yeah, I'm actually. Up north. Um, you know, we got the battle on the hardwood that's always like it's going Wednesday through Saturday, and then we're turning around, and I'm I'm going to Natchitoches Central. It always has some good ball games against um, just random teams that I never get to see. That's right, the City uh, of Lights, huh? That's it, City of yeah. Lights. You can get some good food. I can go back to some of my people. But uh, also, um, I've been to the St. Thomas More tournament. I've played in it. I do know that Rustin is going to play Lake Arthur and Rustin's playing St. Louis. So I know he has done a very good job. I've heard of some other matchups. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but St. Thomas Moore is going to have some good games that I highly recommend you you making show face at. Yeah, for sure. But um, yeah, those I'm going to Natchitoches Central. I'm turning around. We're in Sunday off, and then we're going back down south. But those are the, the two that I had written down, St. Thomas Moore and Natchitoches Central. Cool. Um, hey, man, Chris. Go ahead. I've been to Natchitoches Central tournament Two years. I am old and six. <laughs> I am never going to turn it. And uh, hey, hey, man, that competition up there, man, she does a great job uh, up there. That, that is a great Thanksgiving tournament. A couple of people in the, uh, in the comments. Um, 
Coach Tim, we're talking about Ville Platte, North Central. I agree. Both those teams will definitely be good. Gibson Coleman is going to be good. Uh, someone mentioned them. I mean, they they got they got some guards that can rock and roll and really put put the ball in the hole. Um, Coach Johnson talked about Nish's Thanksgiving Classic, eighteen bracket style with a three point contest. That's pretty cool. Um, Fairview Fairviews in the Hathaway tournament. Um, Wasman, yeah. If you haven't seen Wasman play, they are going to be a squad to watch, especially in the uh, next couple of years. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't uh, what's your name transfer over there? Um, God, don't yes. What's what is her name? I can't. I, I can see her face too. Ross, uh, right? Yes. Yeah. So, so I'm. I'm I not Ross. sure she'll be eligible right away, but I mean, as soon as she gets eligible, they'll be rocking and rolling. So that should be a good squad to watch. Um, but man, guys, I really appreciate everybody's time. Uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Um, if anybody, like I said, you guys have schedules, whether it's, uh, team schedules, um, games coming up, like what's your games this week, uh, tournament schedules, anything that we can do from our end at LGR to promote girls basketball, please send that to us. Um, I'll love to get out and go and watch games, you know, anytime that doesn't, kind of interfere with, with my, my current team and my, my games at Ursuline Academy. So we've made some trips to Lafayette last year, North Louisiana. So we're, we're willing to travel. So anybody that is interested in getting us to come out to some games, just reach out to us. We can make it work. We'll definitely make it work. But um, I mean, I, I love the, the participation we got, not only from the, the people on talking about different areas of the state, but also with the people that we've got up to 80-something people that were live with us. That so really appreciate everything, man. Continue to grow our game and uh best of luck to everybody this week. We're gonna look to make this a weekly thing. So we'll be tuned in every Sunday around this time, 7, 7 30, whatever time it works for everybody. But uh appreciate y'all, man. If y'all need anything, feel free to reach out. Awesome. Thanks for having us. All right, Chris. Thank y'all.